Likewise, be submissive to your own husband, that even if some do not obey the word, and verse 2, they without a word, they without a word may be won by the conduct of their wives. Are you there? Verse 3. Do not let your argument be merely outward, arranging the air where it goes or putting on fine. Verse 4. Rather let it be the hidden person. The hidden person. And the best place for this is heart. Okay. With incorruptible beauty of gentle and the quiet spirit, which is very, very precious in the sight of God. Hallelujah. So let's. It, that also would take us to the book of Roman. The book of Roman, are you there? The book of Roman. That's verse 10. Let me take it from verse 9. That is continuation. From 1 Peter chapter 3 to the book of Roman again, verse, uh, Roman 9, uh, 10, verse 9. I start my reading from verse 9. Then if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, the same hidden man, hidden, remember that H-I-D-D-E-N, hidden in that verse, chapter, first Peter chapter 3, and then we take our reading. So I'm taking you back again. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is hidden personality. Now, verse 10. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verse 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put into shame. Hallelujah. I'm taking you to verse 13. For whoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Yes, from this title, you, let's put it this way, the secret of faith. The secret of faith. Let someone say the secret of faith. The secret of faith. Mm, the secret of faith. Hallelujah. Uh, Jesus Christ is the shorty of every word. From Matthew 1 to Revelation 22. From Matthew 1 to Revelation what? 22. Faith. Here comes faith. <coughs> faith grows. Like we had said, the secret of faith. Faith grows as we climb, as we what? As we climb higher. As we go, climb higher. Faith grows. That is, learning more about God, day by day, learning more about who? Learning more about God. That is, the more you read, the more you understand yourself. Because the Bible, the more you read the Bible, the more you understand yourself and this God who created you. This is what I mean. Learning more 
about God day by day the more you read this Bible with devotion the more you understand yourself you see yourself and this God who created you your relationship with God day by day growing in your what? in your relationship with God that is the more you think about what you read day by day the more familiar you will become with his voice Are you, are you with me? Growing in your relationship with God day by day, I mean, the more you think about what you read in the Bible, the more familiar you become with His voice. So when you hear God's voice, you will not doubt it. You know, this is God. This is God. The vision will be clear. Are you there? The vision will be what? Clear. 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 The vision. Becoming stronger in your battle with temptation the more you think about what you have what you read every day the more familiar you become in, in with his voice Becoming familiar, becoming strong, stronger in your battle with temptation. Hallelujah. Amen. That is Bible for you. We talk of faith. Say faith. What faith? Faith is not a mental. Faith is not what? It's not mental. It is not mental assent. It is not intellectual agreement. The faith we talk, faith in God, faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ, is a spiritual force that grows and develops in the heart or spirit of man. Faith in God is not mental. It is not mental assent. It is not intellectual agreement. Faith in God is a spiritual force that grows and develops in the hearts. That is where you heard here hidden personality. spirit of man can you say the secret of faith in that let me take you back again to that book of first Peter chapter 3 Verse 4 says, 
Rather, it is being the hidden personality of the heart. What does that mean? That is the house. Here is where the heart rests. Tell your neighbor. Here is where the heart rests. Rest. With a quiet sense of security. Are you with me? Here is where the heart rests with a quiet sense of security. That is, is comfortable. There is no other faith apart from this one. Our heart is the communication point Contacts as the book of Romans 9, verse 1 said. In Romans 8, verse 31, I quote, If God be for us, who can what? Yeah. Who can be against us? What does this? Your heart become becomes quiet. You look up into his face and whisper with your request. That is, whisper your request. If God be for you, who can be against you? Me, your heart becomes quiet. And you look up into his face. And whisper your request. It's a, <laughs> because you don't know the person you are talking to. You don't know whether your prayer is answered. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, But you whisper into his, your request. You whisper your request. And you know it is going to be granted. And you know it is going to be what? Granted. Because it is your father who is on the throne. It is your Lord who is seated by his side. If God be for you, who can what? Who can be against you? Nobody. It is your Lord who is seated by his side. If the Lord be for you. If the Lord be for you, that is it. Your heart becomes quiet because the Lord be for you. Because the Lord is on your side. Because the Lord is for you, your heart becomes quiet. And you look up into his face and you whisper whisper your request Pastor, 
wanted force the waters of my soul long to thee you are all are my heart desire and alone to worship you So it has the deep haunted fall, the waters of my soul long Thank you, thank you, you may be seated, thank you. Hallelujah. If the Lord be for you, your heart becomes what? Well, become quiet. When your heart is quiet, it means the matter is settled. Hallelujah. Not when your heart is disturbed or settled. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the chattel of every word from Revelation, from Matthew 1 to Revelation 22. The guarantor of every word. every word if any scripture should go by default Jesus become responsible if anyone any scripture should go by default Jesus becomes responsible here I quote him Heaven and earth can pass away, but one word I have spoken can ever pass away. One word I have spoken can ever pass away. That is to swear. This may I caught him, he said, for I watch over my word to perform it. Nowhere from God is void of fulfillment. Nowhere from God is void of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Faith is not abstract. Faith is not what? It's not abstract. It's not. It's not abstract. Not. Sure. 
faith can be practiced can be it's not abstract it's not it's not so in your challenges in life faith is there for you your challenges can be sickness can be poverty can be what can be that if God's people cannot commit their bodies to God when they are sick what evidence of faith is that? So may you can be a child of God and sick in body. If God people cannot commit their body, their body into what? To God. When they are sick, what evidence of faith is that? What evidence of it? A man can be sick in body, yet be a child of God. If the word of God can be shown, then throne the throne can be overruled that cannot be because when you are talking about the word you are talking about the foundation of the throne the throne of God the throne is where our Savior is seated. The throne by which Jesus is seated. Are you with me? When you are talking about the word, you are talking about what? The foundation of the throne. The foundation of the throne of God. The throne where our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, is seated, by which He is seated. Hallelujah. So the secret of faith. I would not want to go too far because of time, but we we'll continue the part two next meeting. But we are sure that no word from God is void of fulfillment. Is void of what? Fulfillment. For God wash over his word to perform it. Because you are talking of the word, you are talking of the throne, the foundation of the throne. When you are saying you are you are speaking the word of God, the throne, you are checking the stone. All of heaven. All of what? All of heaven you are talking about. All of heaven.
So now faith is there for you in your challenges. Your challenge could be sickness, could be disease, could be tribulation, could be temptation and trial, could be hard, I mean, hard place. Let me put it in that way. Could be hard place. Faith is there for you. Hallelujah. Be up once again. Thank you. Thank you. For those who were attending the service yesterday too. And I know 90% of those who actually attend the service, they are still awake. Because I know we left here so late. And uh, we believe God for miracle of time today. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's quickly see what the Lord has for us. And uh, like I told you, the message I discontinue the last Sunday secret of faith that was the message so we shall continue today and see where god is taking us to hallelujah Amen. secret of faith so i will just your 10 minutes please give me your 10 minutes give god hallelujah Amen. are you there the secret of what? You can call it secret of faith. Secrets of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let's just go through some of biblical character and what the Bible says about this. I will start my reading from the book of James 2. James 2. My brethren, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the law of glory, with partiality. Verse 2. For if there should be, for if there should come into your assembly a man with gold, take note of that, rings in fine. And there should be also come a poor man. That is, this is a man with gold, rich man, and a man with poor, I mean, poor. A, a man come in poor clothes. Verse 3. You pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes. And say to him, you sit here in a good place and say to the poor man you stand there or sit here at my foot stool verse 4 have you not shown partiality among yourself and become judge with evil thoughts verse 5 list him my beloved brethren has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith an heir of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him verse 6 but you have dishonored the poor man do not the rich oppress you drag you into the mong or court. I'm taking verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone say he has faith but does not have work? Can faith save him? Verse 14 once again. What does it profit, my brethren, my people, if someone says he has faith but does not have works, 
can faith save him? That is, if someone has faith, does not have work, can only faith save him? Remember, faith without work. Faith without work. Hallelujah. Let's take it to the the book of Hebrew. That Hebrew 11 chapter 1. So and have the definition first before we continue. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So let me take you to the second Corinthians. Are you there? Now I'm taking it. This is Second Corinthians 4, verse 18. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary. Those things seen are temporary. But the things which are not seen are internal. Let's take it to the second Corinthians five verse seven. For we walk by faith in the same vein, nor by sight. It's still the same. So you take your time when you get home, read the book of Exodus fourteen and take your reading from verse sixteen to twenty two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Secret of faith. Last meeting, those who attended the meeting, you know, where we stopped, I'll take it from there. The work of faith this time. Faith means to be put into practice. Faith means to be what? To be put into practice. But where should this be put into practice? Where should it be put into practice? It should be put into practice in difficult and perilous circumstances. However, even during ordinary times, that is when the goings are good and when the goings are tough, faith is there for us. When the goings are good and when the goings are what? Tough. Faith is there for you. We should put faith into practice when the goings are good and when the goings are tough in difficult and perilous circumstances. During ordinary times when you are not under pressure or tension when there is money in your pockets and when there is no money in your pocket, when there is food in, on your table and there is no food on your table, faith is there for you. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. If God's children cannot trust cannot commit their bodies to God when they are sick. When God's children, I repeat again, I call it God's children, because many people of God do not believe that 
they can have challenges once they accept Jesus. That costs their faith. There, is, there are many teachers today that once you accept Jesus, no challenges. And challenges could be sickness, could be disease, could be poverty, could be hardship. Challenge will come. Challenge will come because many do not because of this that affected their faith. If God's children cannot commit their body to God when they are sick, Who will believe that they are Christian? And who will believe that they have faith? That you are a Christian does not mean you cannot. You have challenges, there will be challenges. There will be challenges. Your challenge could be this, could be that. But they are foolish things. They are foolish things. I say in one of my messages that a Christian may be sick in body, yet be a friend of God. If God's children cannot trust in God for problems arising in their family, can their faith be found? What kind of faith is that? Can their faith be found? What kind of faith is that? If believers cannot trust in God for their material riches, what use is their faith? To them, what use is their faith to them? Faith is there for our challenges. Whether you are pastor, apostle, or bishop, or pope, challenge will come. But your challenge is not meant to kill you, to destroy you. Your challenge could be to strengthen your desire for God, could be to prepare you for the journey ahead, could be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the journey, could be to, re to redress you proper for the future, for the glory of God. And your challenge could be sickness, could be poverty, could be hardship, could be whatever. But your is not like other for the glory of God. Amen. What is your challenge? Ask your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Remember the title? Secret of Faith. Because of teaching today, many teaching today, Many Christians do not believe, do not actually believe they can be sick. And when the sickness comes, their faith is lost. When hardship comes, their faith is lost. Have faith in God. Faith. To be 
parties in difficult and perilous circumstances. However, even during ordinary times when the money is in the pocket. Through ordinary circumstances, If we have faith in God, we should not just believe in Him when we encounter difficulty, extraordinary events, facing impossible tasks, or absolute perils. When we have faith in God Almighty, we should not just believe in Him when we encounter extraordinary events and face impossible tasks or absolute peril. This is the way the Gentile take it is not the way God's children should take not only we should see God as our sovereign superior Lord we should see him like children to their father. Have faith in God. See God as children to their father. We are constantly in his protection and care the power of the heaven are backing up are backing us are behind us and backing us up so that in everything we can overcome through the divine power. Amen. Viewers all over the world, I believe you are with me. We speak all the time about faith. We say man ought to believe, man ought to have faith in God. Yes, how, how, how should we have faith in God? We have faith in God through the daily things around us. Tell your neighbor, we have faith in God through the daily things around us. What do I mean? You need to know how much you need God. I want to comb my hair. I need faith to do, to do that. I want to make up. I need faith to do that. I want to wash. I need faith to do that. I want to sit. I need faith to do that. 
I want to laugh. <laughs> I need faith to laugh. I want to look. I need faith to look. I want to open my eyes. I need faith to look to open my eyes. True daily things around us. And what is faith? There are so many definitions for faith. Grammar, 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 idiom. When you begin to put them, one you study in the primary school, nursery school, university, you begin to say, Oh my God, which one will I take? If I put them together, my stomach is full now. But simple, take this definition and take it, it will work for you. What is faith? Faith is a heart that believes God. Tell your neighbor. Faith is a heart that believes God. I can hear you. Through ordinary circumstances. My heart, my shoulder, my knees, my soul, my heart, my shoulder, my knees, my soul, my heart, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, they all belong to Jesus. Oh, that is substance of this, substance of that, substance of this, substance of that. That will derive you from original piece of episode. episode. Faith is a heart that believes God through ordinary circumstances. Like you have so do, it should be demonstrator of practice in difficult and perilous circumstances however even during ordinary times when the money is in the pocket when you are not under pressure or tension when food is on the table when food is not on the table when there is no money on, in the pocket faith is there for you Faith is there for you. Are you are you with me? I say ten minutes. We have. It's like a, don't let me forget myself. The word faith will continue next meeting again. Let's now come to so that we continue part three next week. Suppose. A believer merely confesses or professes with his mouth, be he, be delivered, be saved in Jesus' name. What does the Bible say in that book of James? If if you take it back to the book of James, that's 14. Let's see what the book says. James 14. Suppose a believer or a pastor, bishop, merely confesses or in his mouth, be he be delivered in the name of Jesus. What does the Bible say here in 14? What does it profit my brethren if someone say he has faith but does not have work? Can faith save him? If someone say he has faith but does not have work, can that faith save him? Can such faith bless him? Hmm? 
What does this mean? This means our works proves our faith. Our work proves our faith. Our work perfects our faith. Our work completes our faith. If we believe God in a certain matter, if we do not have a walk of faith to that matter, we are wasting our time. If we believe God in a certain matter, But does not have a walk of faith in that matter you are wasting your time because your faith will not help you release God's deliverance in that matter your faith will not help you release what will not help you I mean receive God's deliverance in that matter so our work proves our faith our work completes our faith our work perfects our faith faith without work thank you brother there was all over the world thank you so we continue next meeting Hallelujah. We we'll continue next meeting. I don't want to because I learn people there they are they are almost triple 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 triple. I feel I feel for them not help us will not help us. Empty what? Professions, confessions cannot help us. We, we confess empty. You can examine your life by find how much faith you have. You look at yourself like me. I can look at myself and know how much faith I have. You too, unless you want to deceive yourself. When you look at yourself, you look at your business, you will know how much faith you have. When you look at your marital life, you will know how much faith you have. When you look at your finances, you will know how much faith you have. When you look at your health, mm, I will know how much faith I have. When I now look generally about my career, I will know how much faith I have. Empty confession or profession of faith will not help us at all. Tell you about empty profession. I mean empty confession of faith will not help us at all. In the Bible there are many promises for every matter if you are saved. The Bible says, let the sick say, I'm here. There is promise there. Are you poor? The Bible says, let the poor say, I'm blessed. The promise is there. Tell your neighbor, in every, for every matter, there are promises in the Bible. I can hear you. Are you poor? Let the poor say, I'm blessed. Are you weak? Let the weak say, I'm strong. For every matter, 
there are promises in the Bible. So as long as you have faith, God will work for you. Tell your neighbor, as long as I have faith, God will work for me. I can hear you. 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 As long as you have faith, God will work for you. Examine yourself. You will find out how much faith you have. Examine your finances. You will find out how much faith you have. Examine your marital life. You will find out how much faith you have. Examine your career. You will find out how much faith you have. Empty profession of faith will not help us at all. There are many promises in the Bible. For every matter, there are promises. Let the weak say, I'm strong. And let the poor say, I'm blessed. And let the sick say, I'm healed. As long as you have faith, Jesus will work for you. Amen. God bless his work. Rise up, let's worship his holy name. When the music fades And all is stripped away And I simply come Alright I can hear you Are you there? Okay, let's quickly look at the book of Hebrew And then we take some passage and read Hallelujah. The book of Hebrew, are you there? Let me take reading, chapter 4. Therefore, since a, since a promise remains of entering his rest, take note of that. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, wow. Let us fear least any of you seems to have come short of his. Are you with me? I want you to read along with me. If you are not landed, we, you cannot understand what we are talking here. Verse 2. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. Who are them? Who are us? Take note of that. But the way which they heard did not profit them. Gain. There is no gain. Not being missed. Take note of that. Not why the way did not profit them. Because not being missed with faith. In those who heard this. Because not being missed with faith, that is faith we are about to talk about. Because the way were not missed with faith, that is why it was not profited them, profit them. Are you there? Three. For who for we who have believed do enter that race as he has what? As he has said. Well, look at simple. Mean faith and rest cannot be separated from one another. Are you are you with me? Faith and what? Faith and rest cannot be separated from one another. Because for who have believed enter into the rest are you with me for those who believe enter door enter to what to rest so you take your time when you get home because i will take you 
from time to time because we have just little time. Take your time, read the book of Hebrew 5, the book of Hebrew 4, and that also take your time to read the book of Romans 10, verse 17. That's verse 17 there. And also look at the book of Hebrew, the Hebrew 1, uh, Hebrew 1, 11, verse 1. You take your time to read as well. And uh, yes, Hebrew 4, verse 3. Very important. Are you there? Wow. Secret of faith. Secret of what? Secret of faith. <sighs> Look at what the Bible says. It says, faith and rest cannot be separated from one another. And where is the, that rest? Remember our last meeting. I told you that faith is a heart that believes in God. Are you, are you with me? Faith is a heart that believes in God. Through what? Through ordinary circumstances. I say, have faith in God. Have faith in God. All things are possible. Not some things are. No, all things. Take note of that. Are you, are you, are you with me? So, if faith, a heart, that the Bible says, is man's heart, that is, faith grows and develops in the heart of man. In the heart of man. That is, you can say, in the spirit. What is faith? Everything that comes by force is not faith. Trust me to be Christian, you are deceiving me. You are deceiving yourself. Giving me money, giving me everything, deceiving me, whatever you want to do, giving me, or if you do charity, you give me money, you send me to school, you do everything, you want me to be a Christian, that is not faith. Anything that comes by force is not what? It's not faith. Are you with me? You know, today the way we practice our faith, people when you don't come to church it's good, they can trace you, they can look for you but they will look for you and tell you they need to come to church not becoming ah, you are not a Christian you are not part of our family you are not part of this, you are not part of that you, did, you, did, you must be you, you must be you must be a Christian, if you are not a Christian I will not give you this, I will not buy a car I will not give you this, I will not, I will not love you, you are not part of me I can't give you business no, I can't employ you in my company because you are not a Christian. That is not faith. Tell you about anything that comes by force is not faith. Okay, you can begin to think of what I'm, I'm talking about. That me, if you are not a Christian, you can't be my friend. And if you are not a Christian, or you, I have a company, you come to my company, I want to employ you, I will ask you, who are you, are you a Christian? You say, no, you are not a Christian. I say, walk out of my office. That is not faith. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. No, you are not a Christian, I cannot employ you. No, that is not faith. Faith is something that comes small spontaneously are you with me faith is something that comes spontaneously willing willingly don't trust me 
If you succeed forcing me, if you force me to be a Christian by giving me whatever you want to give me, or you adopt me as your child, you give me everything, and I become a Christian, such Christianity cannot last. If you stop giving me those things, I will stop being a Christian. If you become a Christian because of miracle you receive, what of if there is no miracle tomorrow, you will stop being a Christian. Faith is something That war comes spontaneously. Let me give you a good, some good example because of time. Whenever we believe, we truly believe, don't let me use the word believe, we truly believe because there are different beliefs today. This are uh, all kinds of faith. Whenever we truly believe our Lord Jesus, we have rest. Whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. Tell your neighbor, whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. Whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. That is truly belief. If our heart are uneasy and restless, if we are afraid of this and that, if we are fearful and feeling lost, struggle with all our efforts to plan to resolve to resolve this to resolve that struggling with all then this show we have not yet believed This show we have not what? We have not yet believed. When one is believed, he is at rest. When one is believed, he is what? He is at rest. Therefore, when a person believes he will no longer worry he will leave it for God There must be work to our faith. Tell your neighbor, there must be work to our faith. Tell your neighbor, there must be work to our faith. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I mean, our works proves our faith.
your works completes your faith. If you don't have good work, you have no faith. Your works completes your faith, perfects your faith. There must be works to our faith. You say you have faith in God. What kind of faith is that without good work? Your works will help you receive deliverance, God's deliverance. Your works help you to receive When you, when, when you are there, I know you are there. That is faith. When I see you are there, I know you are there. Do we have to force ourselves to believe you are there? That is faith. Do we have to listen and research before we can acknowledge the reality of this fact? Do we have to trip to think that you are there. Within a second, we believe spontaneously. There is no need for all to struggle to believe. That is faith. second we believe spontaneously we there is no need for us to struggle to believe because faith is something that comes spontaneously anything that comes by force is not faith A person has not received the teaching. Of the scripture. Or the promise of the Holy Ghost. In your heart. Forcing him. To do such acts. Is indeed a risk. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Tell your neighbor, if a person has not received the teaching of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Ghost 
that is Holy Spirit in his heart forcing him to do such art is indeed a risk because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word you must take God's word to heart you must live in God's word If you have taken God's word to half, you can act it. It is by its very nature change. And when it does, you automatically find yourself at This kind of less is very genuine and natural. It is not a pretentious calm. You know, pretentious work. Whereas inside is dangerous. It is not what? It is not a pretentious calm whereas it's dangerous like a snake you see snake calm if you don't touch snake he will not answer but if you touch you see it is not unnatural of what has not happened or acting on of what has not happened oh. faith brings in restfulness faith brings in what restfulness before before what restfulness as we know heart is rest to rest when faith come it brings in restfulness because the knowledge because of the knowledge that god is with us you know if god is for us who can be against us that is the knowledge. Tell your neighbor. Faith brings in restfulness. I can hear you. Faith brings in restfulness because of the knowledge that God is for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? Therefore, there is the rest. There is the rest. Yes. If God is for us, who can be against us? So faith brings in what? Restfulness because of the knowledge that God is for us. If God is for you and for me, who can be against us? Huh? Nobody. Nobody. Therefore, there is the rest. Tell your neighbor, there is the rest. There is the rest. There is the rest. Faith does not rest in itself. 
Take note of that. You ask where faith rests. Faith does not rest in itself. God is the place where faith rests. Tell your neighbor, faith does not rest in itself. God is the place where faith rests. Only those who have such rest have faith. Those who do not have such rest do not have faith. Only what? Only those who have what? Only those who have such rest have faith. Those who do not have such rest do not have what? Do not have faith. Have faith in God. All things are possible. All things are possible indeed. All things are possible. Hallelujah. All things are possible. Indeed. Take notes this. Why you always get disappointment? It's time you say in the name of Jesus be blessed. In the name of Jesus be healed. If a person has not received the teaching of the script of, of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Ghost in his heart. Forcing himself to say, Be healed, be blessed, be saved, you are blessed, you are healed. Such acts is indeed a risk. I, if I'm talking to you, let him see your hand. I take it again, take it and write it down. Write my word down. You know, today you see people. <laughs> if a person, whether you are a pastor or Christian or bishop or priest or pope or whatever, if a person has not received the teaching of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Spirit in his heart that well must go deep into your blood forcing himself to say be healed, be delivered, be saved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Such act is indeed a risk. Because God does nothing without his word. And when you don't have his word, what are you talking? What are you saying? Which way are you communicating? Which language are you talking about? You cannot talk to God without His way. You cannot heal without His way. Without, you cannot bless without His way. You cannot uh, pray for people without His way. He does nothing without His way. And if you don't have His way, and you are now act on His behalf, this is indeed the risk. And His way must dwell where? Because shit and rest cannot be separated from one another. When I say indeed a risk, I mean you may be saying it many years, many times. One day Satan will ask you by what authority? Who give you the word? Remember seven sons of Skeba. What has happened to many of us here today is as a result of the way we don't have and we are speaking it. Empty professional professor professions of faith. 
will not help us at all. If we examine our life, if we examine our daily lives, we will find out how much faith we have. Empty professions of faith, empty confessions of faith will not help us at all. If you examine your life, examine your life, you will find out how much faith you have. You need faith to laugh, you need faith to sit, you need faith to eat. If you are not doing all this by faith and you do it by yourself, one day Satan will ask you, by what authority, by what who instruction are you doing all this? The Bible is full of promises for every matter. Are you see? Let the six say I'm here. It's there. Tell your neighbor. The Bible is full of promises for every matter. Are you sick? Are you poor? What are you facing? What is your situation? As long as you have faith, God will work for you. I want to let him come. I can hear you. Are you there? Okay, let's quickly look at the book of Hebrew. And then we take some passage and read. Hallelujah. The book of Hebrew. Are you there? Let me take reading. Chapter 4. Therefore, since a, since a promise remains of entering his rest. Take note of that. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, wow, let us fear this, any of you, seems to have come short of his. Are you with me? I want you to read along with me. If you are not landed, we, you cannot understand what we are talking here. Verse 2. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. Who are them? Who are us? Take note of that. But the way which they heard did not profit them. Gain, there is no gain. Not being missed. Take note of that. Not why they were did not profit them. Because not being missed with faith in those who heard this. Because not being missed with faith, that is faith we are about to talk about. Because they were, were not missed with faith. That is why it was not profited them. Profit them. Are you there? Three. For who, for we who have believe do enter that rest as he has what as he has said well look at simple mean faith and rest cannot be separated from one another are you are you with me faith and what faith and rest cannot be separated from one another because for who have believed enter into the rest are you
Say with me. For those who believe, enter the enter to what? To rest. So you take your time when you get home, because I will take you from time to time because we have just little time. Take your time, read the book of Hebrew five, the book of Hebrew four, and that also take your time to read the book of Roman ten, verse seventeen. That's verse seventeen there. And they also look at the book of Hebrew, the Hebrew one, uh, Hebrew one eleven, verse one. You take your time to read as well. And uh, yes, Hebrew four, verse three. Very important. Are you there? Wow. Secret of faith. Secret of what? Secret of faith. <sighs> Look at what the Bible says. It says, faith and rest cannot be separated from one another. And where is there that rest? Remember our last meeting. I told you that faith is a heart that believes in God. Are you, are you with me? Faith is a heart that believes in God. Through what? Through ordinary circumstances. I say, have faith in God. Have faith in God. All things are possible. Not some things are. No, all things. Take note of that. Are you, are you, are you with me? So, if faith, a heart, that we that we say, is man's heart. That is, faith grows and develops in the heart of man. In the heart of man. That is, you can say, in the spirit. What is faith? Everything that comes by force is not faith. Trust me to be Christian, you are deceiving me. You are deceiving yourself. Giving me money, giving me everything, deceiving me, whatever you want to do, giving me, or you do charity, you give me money, you send me to school, you do everything, you want me to be a Christian, that is not faith. Anything that comes by force is not what? It's not faith. Are you all with me? You know, today the way we practice our uh, people when you don't come to church is good. They can trace you. They can look for you. But they will look for you and tell you they need to come to church. Not becoming, shh, shh, ah, you are not a Christian, you are not part of our family, you are not part of this, you are not part of that, you did this, you must be, you must be, you must be a Christian, if you are not a Christian, I will not give you this, I will not buy a car, I will not give you this, I will not love you, I will not love you, you are not part of me, I can't give you business, no, I can't employ you in my company because you are not a Christian. That is not faith. Tell you about anything that comes by force, by force it's not faith okay you can begin to think of what I'm, I'm talking about that me if you're not a Christian you can't be my friend and if you're not a Christian or you, I have a company you come to my company I want to employ you I will ask you who are you are you a Christian you say no you're not a Christian I say walk out of my office that is not faith if I'm talking to you let me see your hand no, you are not a Christian, I cannot employ you. No, that is not faith. Faith is something that comes spontaneously. Are you with me? Faith is something that comes spontaneously. 
willing, willingly. Don't trust me. If you succeed forcing me, if you force me to be a Christian by giving me whatever you want to give me, or you adopt me as your child, you give me everything, and I become a Christian, such Christianity cannot last. If you stop giving me those things, I will stop being a Christian. If you become a Christian because of miracle you receive, what of if there is no miracle tomorrow, you will stop being a Christian. Faith is something that what comes spontaneously. Let me give you a good, some good example because of time. Whenever we believe, we truly believe, don't let me use the word believe, we truly believe because there are different beliefs today. This are uh, all kinds of faith. Whenever we truly believe our Lord Jesus, we have rest. Whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. Tell your neighbor, whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. Whenever we truly believe, our heart will be at rest. That is truly believe. If our heart are uneasy and restless, if we are afraid of this and that, if we are fearful and feeling lost, struggle with all our efforts to plan to resolve, to resolve this, to resolve that, struggling with all, then this show we have not yet believed. This show we have not what? We have not yet believed. When one is believed, he is at rest. When one is believed, he is what? He is at rest. Therefore, when a person believes he will no longer worry he will leave it for God There must be work to our faith. Tell your neighbor, there must be work to our faith. Tell your neighbor, there must be work to our faith. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I mean, 
Our works proves our faith. Your works completes your faith. If you don't have good work, you have no faith. Your works completes your faith, perfects your faith. There must be works to our faith. You say you have faith in God. What kind of faith is that without good work? Your works will help you receive deliverance, God's deliverance. Your works help you to receive when you when when you are there, I know you are there. That is it. When I see you are there, I know you are there. Do we have to force ourselves to believe you are there? That is it. Do we have to listen and research? before we can acknowledge the reality of this part do we have to contribute to think that you are there Within a second, we believe spontaneously. There is no need for all to struggle to believe. That is faith. Within a second, we believe spontaneously. We, there is no need for us to struggle to believe. Because faith is something that comes spontaneously. Anything that comes by force is not faith. A person has not received the teaching. Of the scripture. Or the promise of the Holy Ghost. In your heart. Forcing him. To do such acts. Is indeed a risk. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Tell your neighbor, if a person has not received the teaching 
of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Ghost that is Holy Spirit in his heart forcing him to do such art is indeed a risk because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word you must take God's word to heart you must live in God's word if you have taken God's word to half you can act it it is by its very nature change and when it does you automatically find yourself at kind of less is very real, genuine and natural it is not a pretentious calm you know pretentious work whereas inside is dangerous it is not what it is not a pretentious calm whereas it's dangerous like a snake you see snake calm if you don't touch snake he will not answer but if you touch you see it is not unnatural of what has not happened or acting on of what has not happened no. faith brings in restfulness faith brings in what restfulness before before what restfulness as we know heart is rest to rest when faith come it brings in restfulness because the knowledge because of the knowledge that god is with us you know if god is for us who can be against us that is the knowledge tell your neighbor faith brings in restfulness i can hear you faith brings in restfulness because of the knowledge that god is for us if god is for us who can be against us therefore there is the rest there is the rest yes if god is for us who can be against us so faith brings in what restfulness because of the knowledge that god is for us if God is for you and for me, who can be against us? Nobody. Huh? Nobody. Nobody. Therefore, there is the rest. Tell your neighbor, there is the rest. There is the rest. There is the rest. Faith 
does not rest in himself. Take note of that. You ask where faith rests. Faith does not rest in itself. God is the place where faith rests. Tell your neighbor, faith does not rest in itself. God is the place where faith rests. Only those who have such rest have faith. Those who do not have such rest do not have faith. Only what? Only those who have what? Only those who have such rest have faith. Those who do not have such rest do not have what? Do not have faith. Have faith in God. All things are possible. All things are possible indeed. All things are possible. Hallelujah. All things are possible. Indeed. Take note this. Why you always get disappointment? Each time you say, in the name of Jesus, be blessed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. If a person has not received the teaching of the, script, of, of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Ghost in his heart, Forcing himself to say, Be healed, be blessed, be safe, you are blessed, you are healed. Such art is indeed a risk. I, if I'm talking to you, let him see your hand. I take it again, take it and write it down. Write my word down. You know, Today you see people <laughs> if a person whether you are a pastor or Christian or bishop or priest or Pope or whatever if a person has not received the teaching of the scripture or the promise of the Holy Spirit in his heart that well must go deep into your blood forcing himself to say be healed be delivered be saved in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah such act is indeed a risk because God does nothing without his word and when you don't have his word what are you talking what are you saying which way are you communicating which language are you talking about you cannot talk to God without his word you cannot hear without his word you cannot bless without his word you cannot uh, pray for people without his way. He does nothing without his way. And if you don't have his way, and you are now act on his behalf, this is indeed the risk. And his way must dwell where? Because faith and rest cannot be separated from one another. When I say, indeed, a risk, I mean, you may be saying it many years, many times, one day, Satan will ask you, by what authority, who give you the way? Remember, seven sons of Skeba. What has happened to many of us here today is as a result of the way we don't have, and we are speaking it. 
empty professional professor professions of faith will not help us at all if we examine our life if we examine our daily lives we will find out how much faith we have empty professions of faith empty confessions of faith will not help us at all if you examine your life examine your life you will find out how much faith you have you need faith to laugh you need faith to sit you need faith to eat if you are not do all this by faith and you do it by yourself one day satan will ask you by what authority by what who is Russian? Are you doing all this? The Bible is full of promises for every matter. Are you see? Let the six say I'm here. It's there. Tell your neighbor. The Bible is full of promises for every matter. Are you sick? Are you poor? What are you facing? What is your situation? As long as you have faith, God will work for you. I want to let him come.